Have you ever found that sometimes your driver awesome, but then you just don't hit the irons very good, and then sometimes your irons great, but not your driver? Well, Liam came to a lesson with me a few weeks back, turn your slice into a draw, yeah. gained quite a few yards. And driver went to the best club in my bag, and straightest. But then what happened? My irons were just so inconsistent, they were going like, seven iron were going 160, then it were going 130, it were going left, it were going right. It was just... And what did you learn in this lesson? Well, my backswings change, unbelievably, instantly yeah. with a funky little gadget. I'll let these people watch it, but yeah. Uh, yeah, there's two different swings. There is, and that's what you've got to realize. There is a different swing between your irons and your driver. Come and look over my shoulder right now and see what we did, because you know what? I think it could really, really help. That's left. Okay. Oh yeah, big time. Okay, so there's, there's, look at like 130, 149, you know, hooks. It's just inconsistent, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah, so basically, yeah. Basic, so let's have a look at the swing on camera. So basically what you're doing, if we have a quick look here, is take a look at your back swing. This is really normal. You're very armsy on the way back. Look at that there, look. Yeah. Really armsy on the way back. So what you're doing is the club's in a, an okay maybe position for driving. You can get away with the drive, but not with your iron. So what you've got is the loop, right? So that didn't look nice, that did it? No. It's, so it's, am I right it, thinking it's over top? Yeah. It's, well, it's strange, right? Because you look at this club path, you go, that's into out. So that's not over the top, is it? No, no it's, it's not, not that bad, is it? No, it's not that bad. So what we've got to figure out is, well, if that's not too bad, why does it look like it's over the top? And I'll show you. Come look at this. So what you're doing is, is, I see this a lot, people not understanding the difference between an iron swing and a driver swing, and there is a real difference. So what you've got is, is your club on your arms go very, very low down here, quite flat. Yeah. Now the problem is, is we need to strike down on this ball with an iron. The ball's on the ground, we need to strike down on it. So what you do is, is you go basically off plane, you're too low, and then your body kind of smart enough, right, you're a decent player, so then it goes, I need to hit down on it. It then moves the club back into a position up here, higher, so that it can do what? Strike down. Strike down on it. So you end up having, you can't strike down on it from here because you just fat it and hit up on the ball too much. So your body does this. Goes up to a position where it can strike down and does this. The problem is, is that movement that we're seeing here, which it's can- It's all about timing that and it's time, Exactly. So, and that extra movement here becomes a real problem. So we've got to remember that we are striking down on iron, so therefore we have to have a backswing that represents, easily represents that motion, helps you to achieve it. Super simple. We've got to get you swinging the club up, straight back down again. Just up, up and down? Or just, what you feel is up and down, because you're so used to using yeah. this, right? Okay. Now I know you, Giving you detailed motions and stuff is not a good thing, right? So we need to have... You say I'm simple. I know, not as simple as me. We need to th create things that are easy, repeatable, and easy for you to visualize, right? Okay. So what we'll do is, it's all set here. Let's grab a, maybe an old bag. Do you want to jump in? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a bag here, okay? Get yourself set up to an imagine, imaginary ball roughly here. Now, this is an obstacle, right? Yeah. And what we're going to do is, and what you to imagine is this. Normally, if you do this, you'd normally hit it. Okay. So well, what on that video, I would have done. Yeah. You would have done, wouldn't you, right? So yeah. what we want to imagine, if we want to imagine, we want to get the club swinging down on that golf ball, so the club's got to go up. It's got to go up. So your sense, you've got to feel that club is, for you, probably very just up and down. Does it make sense? Yeah. Versus around and up. Yeah. All right? Okay. A good reference point. I wouldn't hit that then. So you feel that? Uh, no, I would have hit it, yeah. Okay, can get, have another crack. Just swing back for me, just to swing in the club. No, I'm trying not get, yeah. Swing up. Now, when you get to here, I want you to imagine almost that that is almost feeling like it's a bit like this. Right. So it's very- it up straight away in me, head, isn't it? Yeah, straight up. That's, that's the sensation. So ultimately, if, you, if we continue the shaft down roughly, it'd be point well, roughly- That's all irons, is it? Just the irons, yeah. Pretty much Four iron, five iron. Yeah, on, exactly. Right, okay. because, you, because at the end of the day, anything, that where the, anything where the ball's on the ground, you need to strike down on it. Right, yeah. yeah. So if, you, if you're down here, well, how do you strike down? I don't know. Well, I've got to do you've that. You've got to do that, haven't you? Which is what you're doing. Yeah. Right? So it's super simple. We just need to picture a plane, a swing arc, that is much more up and down. 
How you go about doing that, I'll leave that up to you. Already, he looks simple. Don't see, well, I've not hit it, have I? Well, a surprise. But then again, though, I didn't know I was doing that as much. Sorry? Pretty sure, man. The first swings, I didn't know I was doing that as no. much. No, exactly. Exactly. Is that, what, is that, was that okay for driving? Like I said, no, I'm hitting my driver well. You don't change your driver, because you've you, you got to keep remembering the driver is a different swing. So there is two swings. 100%. Just like in tennis, you have top spin and back spin, right? So in top spin in tennis, where do you swing? We swing this way, yeah. right? And if you want to play a drop shot in tennis or a slice shot, what do you do? You swing this cool. way. Yeah. So it's all the game of tennis, two different swings. In, with a driver, we want to hit up off the tee, so we have the topspin idea. With an iron shot, we want to hit the ball down. We want to compress that ball, so we have more of a backspin style shot. Right? Yeah. That's the sensei. sensei. And, and you think about it, you, you know this, your body knows this, hence it's been trying to come down on it, but from the wrong place. Okay, yeah. We want to get rid of those compensations by just visualizing a more up and down motion using an obstacle like that. I don't think I caught that, no. Yeah, it's okay. But again, it doesn't... But it hit that, didn't it? It doesn't, and it didn't, right? But look, right? Nice, neutral numbers. Almost zero, right? Low point, 5.6 inches after the golf ball. That's really compressed. Okay. I don't... This number's going to prove, right? I don't care about it at this stage. This is a, a new feeling, right? Your body's got to come to terms with that new feeling, yeah? Well, that is, yeah. Just... Yeah. And you're thinking about it's an obstacle, you know, stuff going on in your head. Right now, it's just a case of you learning the sensation. There we go. Getting there now. Yeah. But more important, again, look at these numbers again. Look, they're starting now to be consistent. Low point after the golf ball, 4.7 inches. Numbers up to 147, but more important, what I'm wanting, and I'm sorry, you're wanting, Consistent, consistency. Yeah. Mm. Felt a little bit more solid, a bit heavy. It seems very easy to swing though, now. Does it good? Yeah. Look at this. Look at the difference here. As we take this club back now, and look as we come down, look at how much more online that club is swinging. There's no loop there, though, is no. there? No. That makes sense. Yes, yeah, so that, but it's going to get more. That's got to be consistent if you're doing the same backswing, surely. Well, it, or more, anyway. It's, well, look, the reality is, is, you know, when you're starting to get this, you're all, in summary there, basically, you were off plane and you were having to put it on plane, well, that's just wasted energy. If, yeah. you, if, you, if you start to get this club on rails, right, and you get a feel of this line, then eventually you can then start to give it some serious speed. Yeah. And then we can start to think about increasing power, increasing clubhead speed. But whilst you have this, well, all your energy has been wasted by trying to get the club back onto the rail where it needs to be, and that's just wasted. Yeah? yeah. So once you groove this in, you get a sense, well, more importantly, you get it. A sense of, you know, this is your backspin shot almost, yeah? Yeah. yeah once you get a feel of it, you can start to amplify that speed. Right. So. It's got serious. Yeah, that's got We've serious. We've taken you to the it? golf course, right? I did so we're say gonna... I wanted a target, but... So, clearly you're not going to have something like that here, but let's just put that you, you want to play to a target. Let's test you out um, on the golf course. And it's just simplicity. This is a great thing to do when you're out, um, you're practicing. Visualising this out, going up and down, backwards and forwards, same principles. So it's 150 uphill, is that right? Playing 160? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got my target now, have not I? Yeah, well then. Oh, a little bit thin, I think. A little bit thin, but look, 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 hang on, hang on, no. hang on, look at this. We'll, we'll take it. Well, why? We'll, we'll take, take that, it. We? We'll take it. Okay. Cool. It's, it's a bit better now if it's realistic. Yeah. I've got a visual as yeah. well as this. I think this is the point. So one of the things I want I'm you to not do. Just it anywhere, it's pointless. So and this is super simple. Again, we often miss it as golfers. Is that we spend so much time working on aspects of the swing, but you want to very very quickly picture a target, so yeah. that now you've got okay, you've got to relate this motion to where you're going. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's this is what you know a golf course really really does. Fat. A little bit fat. Yeah. But the straight though. Look how much straighter that is now, look. That's two in a row. 
not more because they're two straight ones, even though they've not gone left or right. That's, by the is way. That because it's gone simple. Yeah, and then the whole thing about this is that power comes once you've got the idea of this, the you feel, can the feel. feel of this, you can amplify it. Yeah, right. it's strange. I've got, yeah. I feel like I've got more. Exactly. Rhythm, but it feels very easy. Yeah. Again, just a bit matty, but it's getting there, isn't it? Unbelievable change, isn't it? That's pretty solid, isn't it? Just from your, how's it all feeling, more importantly? Easier. Easier. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like I'm getting a bit more comfortable to start trying to put a bit more on. I'm learning now, like you said, just let it come, then try and put the power on. Yeah. So I'm trying to put the power on a bit later and later. Yeah. But it's good that this is not... Not bothered about this now, am I? No, perfect. So I thought it'd be a really great idea now to show you Liam actually hitting drivers so that you can see the difference between an iron swing and a driver swing. You'll see a slightly different way in these sets up. Ball position is going to be forward with driver. His body position is going to be a little bit back. All with the intent to hit up on the ball with driver. There was a difference with the iron. The ball position was more central. His body position was much more over the top. All with the intention to hit down on the golf ball. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Notice those differences, add those differences to your game, and you'll be able to hit driver, hopefully, likely in with a lovely draw and your irons compressed. And he that's says. coming back from an iron lesson where you've just got me going. Yeah, so, me irons. so re maybe have a few swings, get a sense of what you uh, want to do with driver, get that intent in your mind. Visualize this shape. We're doing this, remember? Yeah. This is the shape I want you to visualize in your mind. Let your body start to react to that. That's lovely. Just like that. Take that, won't we? Go. Gary. Oh, beauty. So you can see, look, awesome with driver. Works really, really well, but you've got to make those adjustments with your irons. Get that in your head. Yeah. But I'm buzzing to that. Eh? People who can relate that. People can relate to me where your driver swings great and then your irons go off because there's two different swings. Yeah. He's just, and we're trying to do everything the same, I think. Trying to do everything the same. You get one going really well. You think you found the answer and you try and apply it to everything. It doesn't work like that. Notice those differences, it'll be like, make a massive difference to the game. So, Liam, awesome, thanks for joining us. No problem. Um, by the way, go and check out Liam's channel. Love, love his channel, does some really humorous stuff on there, so uh, go and check it out. I'll put a link in the description box below. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, you want to see more like this, live lessons, check out this video here and this video here, and look, come and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Love to see you next week. But until next week, have a great golfing week.